recognized for your work and for going out and finding a story and then having people who really are qualified recognize um, what you've done and you know how you've done it and people who, who really know what what went into it. So PressPass is News Brands Ireland uh, news literacy and student journalism programme for transition year students. It was launched in 2012 and we've had over 100,000 TY students participate so far. The feedback from schools and teachers has been overwhelmingly positive. It was designed with the um, English curriculum in mind. So it's become an essential element of school's transition year English programme and it also introduces students to the language types they will encounter in Leaving Cert English. Public School Kirk Agrina have been doing Press Pass for many years, I think since it began. Um, it's hugely valuable to the students. We do it as a module, as a transition year part of our module course in English. Look, I think it's a fantastic competition. We have a strong tradition of it in the school. We've had winners in categories in the past We've had the overall winner in the past and it's a huge opportunity for the students to be involved. I did photojournalism, so I was interested in capturing people's emotions and their faces. Um, I worked on a, sp a sports article, viewed an Olympian and then wrote an article about it. So it was really good to have my interest in sports and my interest in writing come together. The global pandemic that we all experienced over the past two years has clearly demonstrated to us the, the role, the vital role that news media plays in our democracies. News media sector were crucial in providing accurate, reliable and trustworthy information during these difficult two years. I have nothing but admiration for, for the amount of work that went into today's programme and for those who were selected for the competition. As Minister for Media and as a former teacher, I know only too well um, the, the need for continued investment in developing media literacy and critical thinking in our schools. If I was asked to give some advice to a budding journalist, there would be probably two things that I'd want to highlight. Firstly, I would definitely say to ask loads of questions. Soak in information from those around you. But to balance that, I would also say that you need to back yourself in the industry. So don't be afraid to stand up for your story, but also to know your worth. Minister, shortlisted students, proud parents and family members, teachers, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the 2022 Newsbrand Ireland Press Pass Awards. I don't know how many years it is now that I've been coming to the Press Pass Awards for Newsbrands Ireland, but I'm delighted to always come back because every year you come across loads of new students who really embrace what it's all about, the importance of news and the importance of this competition in promoting people to get involved, to get writing, to understand the power of the pen, the importance of actually listening and finding out and coming to conclusions and putting it all down on paper and every year we come across people who I hope in years to come are going to be the journalists of the future. Yeah, it's a, it's a great initiative to get kids uh, using their brains, you know, thinking critically, um, you, you know, thinking about what they like in media, in, in journalism, in, in the newspapers, or online websites, whether it's good or bad, and then seeing if they can do better or, you know, if they can contribute. So I think it's, it's great. So students, teachers and colleagues, when I was first asked to chair this, um, when, when, when Andrew Lennon, the CEO, asked me would I do it, I was obviously honoured. It was about five years ago, I think. Um, I assumed it was just a nice little competition. It might encourage a few teenagers to read a newspaper and maybe even consider journalism as a career. Nothing wrong with that. But Press Pass actually is much, much more than that. I believe it is an important news literacy project where students learn about news, its role in society. They're also introduced to journalism and what makes good journalism its place in democracy, about truth and accuracy, about sources, about misinformation, how to spot it, what is ethical journalism, and what is the public interest, and why journalism matters. Hopefully they learn to apply this to their own understanding of the world around them, whether it's during a pandemic, or war in Ukraine, but also those events that have an immediate impact on their lives, events in their own towns and cities, the highs and lows of their favorite sports teams, their musical heroes, and so on. We hope that students who have undertaken the program know what sources to trust and which ones to avoid and why. The competition element is learning by doing, 
and should be the culmination of learning about journalism and using the workbook and the other materials. I look forward in a few years' time, sitting on a Saturday with a cup of coffee and my newspaper and looking at a name and wondering, why, why do I know that name? Where did it come from? And then it'll click, maybe a bit slower, but it will click eventually. <laughs> it was somebody who won a category in the Press Pass, the Press Pass Award, and there they are, writing in one of our newspapers. The winner, the Young Journalist of the Year, is Kate Lynch.